trying so hard not to make the holes in the holy jeans bigger, but they always make it so that when you want to do anything, it's going to rip it. Look, look at how much my knee wants to rip that. It wants to rip through it. No. Hi, I'm Rachel Ballinger and welcome back to my channel where I test things so you don't have to. And today we're testing more travel products. I know I tested travel products maybe a month ago, two months ago, three months ago. Who knows? Is this, is this like in my way? Mm -hmm. Everybody's here now. Anyway, I'm testing more travel products. Mommy's PMSing. That'd be nice and not interrupt me, okay? Thank you. So we're testing more travel products. Let me show you what we got. One. Six, seven, eight. The luggage weigher thing to see if your luggage is under 50 pounds because here in the States it has to be under 50 pounds in order to fly. Or you actually, it can be more, you just have to pay more money for it. So this helps you figure out how much your thing weighs. Because when we're here, I just stand on the scale and hold the luggage and minus my weight from that, and then that's how much the luggage weight. But when we go out of town, I don't have a scale with me. So that's when we need it. A mini hair straightener, because your big hair straightener is too big to pack. This pocket power outlet thing. Because you know when you go to a hotel and the bed is six feet from an outlet and you're like, I just need to charge my phone and have it in the bed with me because how are you supposed to sleep without cuddling your phone? This is so you can take an outlet extender thing with you and look how small it is to travel with. Pocket size. Next thing is a cutie holder. It makes a cup holder wherever you go, on your bike, your luggage, your sink, your wheelchair or your chair. A stroller, wherever you need a cup holder. When you travel, you can take this. And lastly, a secret bra pouch. Protect your belongings, where you can put this on your bra and all of your things will be safely stowed against your abdomen. Let's test them. I've packed my bag. We're testing the luggage weight wear thing. The luggage wear? That's it. So, oh, I've packed my bag. I wonder how much it weighs. You lift it with all of your strong might, and it weighs eight pounds. Let's put things in it. Let's find out how much we can put in it. <laughs> this is from when we went camping. It's all my toys. <laughs> you didn't put it away like you said you did. Well, I put it away. <laughs> no, you I just didn't put it away where you wanted me to. What is this? Let's put books in it. All right. Now it weighs more weight. Now let's see what it says it weighs. Ready? It says 19.9 pounds. Now we're gonna do the thing where I stand on the scale and do my math thing. One minute. Okay, so what you do is if you're okay with weighing yourself, weigh yourself, and then do it again. Nineteen point eight. They have the same weight minus a point one. It works. It's actually quite helpful. There's been a lot of trips where Abby overpacks one bag and I underpack a bag, and then we have to disperse the weight, and then we don't know if they weigh enough or too much. We it's hard. This is cool because you can take it with you on the trip because you know you're gonna buy souvenirs and you need to know if it's gonna be overweight. Yay, this one! Okay, next product. Oh, books. In my way. Next up, the bra pouch. This is so you can put all your valuables in a place that no one can steal it. I am now realizing you might have to be wearing a normal bra for this. I'm, I'm not. I'm wearing one of I can squish it. I'll squish it. Here you go. I think you should do this when you're naked or when you don't have a shirt on. I think that would be easier. Here it is. We're getting somewhere. One day. Ah, easy installation. Don't look at my 
belly. You just block this. <laughs> Here it is. It's looking good. Now you just have to put stuff in it. I'm a tourist and I have lots of cash and my Costco membership card. I don't want anyone to steal it. So we're gonna put it in my pouch. And then, really tuck. One second. Okay. No one will ever know that I have money hidden, not in my bra, but on my bra. Can you see it? It's a little lumpy. <laughs> I will say the fabric is actually quite nice. I thought it was gonna be like plasticky and then just get like sticky against your skin. It's a nice texture. Okay. We're gonna keep this on the rest of the video and you tell me if you notice it existing while we're testing other things. When you wanna pay for things, do you have to reach down your shirt? Oh, that's very easy. <laughs> and then you put it back in. Trying. I promise I'm trying. Okay. Serious. Thank you, good sir, for taking my money. Off to more shopping. It might not be the best product on the market, but I'll tell you something. Ain't no one stealing it, that's for sure. On to the rest of the video. Picture this. You're laying in your hotel bed. There are no outlets next to you. What do you do? You search. You're frustrated. So what, you're supposed to charge your phone over there? And that outlet? No, oh, over here above the yoga mat. Over there in that outlet? Next to the desk? I want to use it while I'm in bed. That's why you have to travel with your own extension cord. Hello, Snoop. You have eye boobies. Oh. Come on. He doesn't know English. All right, so that's where this comes in. It gives you three extra feet. I thought this was like six feet long, and it's not. Now, what you couldn't do before is relax in bed while being on your phone. This is so much better. You can scroll through a tickety talk. You can exist happily. So here's the thing. It might not be the longest extension cord, but on trips, I do always bring a plug adapter that's kind of similar to this, but without the cord, where it makes it so when Abby and I are traveling together, so if there's only one outlet working or near the bed or whatever, we both can plug in stuff. So having something that can actually give you multiple outlets is a really great thing when you're traveling because sometimes you'll have your phone, your Apple Watch, your computer all needing to charge and there's only like one good outlet that you can actually reach. I highly suggest bringing at least an adapter. Having three feet though? It could come in handy. Not as often as you'd want it to, but it could. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. We haven't ranked anything else, but why not start now? I just wanted it to be a little bit longer. It works though, and I did make it. So you can plug it into itself. That's pretty nifty to do this. I'm gonna make it an eight. Because the way they let it do, like, it wraps up, and while it is bulky, it does a lot. You could just clip it to your bag instead, instead of putting it in it, so it doesn't actually take up space. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Yeah, because it even has, it has two USBs, an Apple USB-C thing, and then two outlets. See, it is pretty nifty. Picture this. You're at the airport, there's an outlet, and it already has two people charging. You can be like, hey, I need to charge too. Do you mind if we all just charge off of this? And then six people can charge. And then you're just magically the airport hero? I think yes. Next product. Look at the inch you save with this mini straightener. Which one would make or break your suitcase? So this is my normal straightener. This is what I pack. I can straighten my hair in about less than five minutes. Now this little guy, let's see it. Because what you could do is just, it is 
so tiny. All right, if you are like just trying to take a backpack or something on a girl's weekend trip, this could make or break a backpack. I think my mom uses something this size for her bangs. All right. Let's see how she does. Sorry for a little bit of the echo, but we're in a bathroom now. We plugged it in and it immediately turned to solid red. And Emily's like, how do you know when it's ready? And I said, I don't, I don't know. Maybe when it blinks, but it's been on for a while. It seems warm. And then Emily asked, well, can you up the temperature? And I said, no, it's one temperature, high temperature says hi. So let's see how she does. My hair is very easy to straighten. It does not take long. This is usually the size of chunk I get. What happened? I don't understand. Okay, there we go. It straightened it. It's working. I mean, it's not the best straightener I've ever used, but it's, it is straightening my hair. It's taking a little bit longer. I do have to use a little bit tinier chunks. I don't know if it would be hot enough because my hair still kind of feels a little frizzy. Um, it's working. Okay, camera angles. Yeah, it's working, right? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's straight, but it is really frizzy. Let's do a little experiment. Let me finish this half, and then we'll do the other half with my normal straightener, and compare. Okay, it took me two seconds to use my actual straightener on my other side of my head. I think the frizz has gone down a little bit. Brushing it, brushing it. Does one side look better than the other? No. Yeah? Yeah, they look the same. All right, the mini straightener works. You just can't have a temperature gauge. You don't know when it's on and it takes a lot longer, but also it might not work on super thick hair. I think it's like for that bayang or easy straightened hair, but it's a flat iron. I've also been looking at myself in the mirror and this is just as atrocious. I'm upset. The last product. I'm a cup. Holder, holder, and I'm gonna hold some cups. Do, 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 do. Okay, I gotta say, my favorite thing that this says can be used for is over the kitchen sink. Why do you need a cup holder over the kitchen sink? Okay, well, why don't you just be like that? Joke to make. Maybe when you're like doing dishes, you get thirsty, and so you'd bend down and take a little sipple. Oh. Wouldn't it just splash into it? Okay. So one cool thing about this is it's not just oh you can loop it on things. What you can do is apparently you could put you put on. Come on. really want to clean my garage. I want to stop filming immediately and just clean my garage. No. Oh my goodness. I'm writing. And I need to put, and I need to put my cup somewhere. Where would I put it? Good thing I have this. You put it, stuff it, and then it becomes a cup holder on your bicycle. I genuinely wasn't trying to spill it. I think it's pretty nifty. A lot of it says like, you know, for a sports game or other things. Here are my pros and cons. Con, I would always forget to bring it with me. Pro, it's pretty secure and stretchy so you can fit a lot of different size cups in there. There's holes on the bottom so that if something spills, it'll drip out, it won't puddle and get all gross at the bottom. You can really just kind of stick it anywhere. It's said to do it on chairs and things and of such. I think you could use it in your car, probably. Could we find a place in the car? You know like cars sometimes don't have cup holders or enough? The only thing I can think of is the open oh, bar. Let's see where we can put it. I don't have an oat poop bar here. My poop bars are here. You know, it does kind of like stay upright. 
Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, duh. One other place where you put it. Just uh, give me a second. Boom! Yeah, Dougie! I think it's a pretty good cup holder. I felt it. Oh, there's a hair. I have nothing negative to say. All right, I like it. You know what? I was gonna say it makes it so you have a free hand. So you can like walk around and your hands can be free. Cause I hate holding things with a burning passion. You can strap anything to my body. Don't let me hold it. Cause I don't want to hold it. Look at my hand is free. I have to do my outro. What are you sniffing? Emily really hates that this is a purse for a cup, but that's what I've deemed it now. I love it. What I don't love is this pouch. I actively hate this pouch. It is actually starting to itch a little bit. I'm glad I wore it for a moment. Yeah, it was itching. I honestly would have been like, yeah, it's fine, I guess, if you're wearing a baggy shirt, but Emily made a very good point of, what do you do when you want something out of it? So I'm gonna say four out of 10 for this because no one's gonna steal it, but it was starting to itch and it's inconvenient and it looks stupid. But everything else I was pretty okay with. I'm gonna put the links to everything. There's gonna be an Amazon affiliate link down below that'll have all these in it because I bought them off of Amazon. You can use that. I do get like a cent if you use it. I don't care. I'm also, if they are on YouTube's thing, there's gonna be on the side uh, links to these products if it is available. There's just ways everywhere. I love you guys. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday on this channel. Make sure you check out my vlog channel, my podcast channel, my Snapchat, and my Instagram. I love you all dearly, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Emily and I are both PMSing.